guys, welcome back to another video, and if you guys have seen part 1, you'll know what this is about. So I'm showing off Pokemon, and here's the next one, say hello to Ditto! <laughs> and like, Ditto's basically a copycat, a shapeshifter, it can turn into anything, not just Pokemon. It's kind of like a Zorua? Uh, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but anyway, so basically like, Zorwas can like, shapeshift as well into anything, but they're a bit different to Dittos. Basically, Zorwas are kind of like foxes, Dittos are like jelly, <laughs> and also Zorwas, um, that's the thing with them, uh, uh Zorwas, uh, you see, yeah, um, even when they transform, they only know the moves that they usually would have, it's, uh, it's like, that thing, like, it just doesn't change. Okay. Also, you see, um, Dittos, however, they, like, can use the moves of other Pokemon, mainly because they don't know any other moves. Basically, like, they only know the moves that happens when they transform. Basically, like, also, Dittos often have a problem with face changes. Like, often, instead of, like... Instead of, like, regular faces for Pokemon or people, like, they just have, like, po uh, polka dot eyes. And that sort of smile. However, though, it is useful in some standards. Like, there are some... A small amount of Pokemon that have dots for eyes. For example, at Quagsire's... They only have dots. <laughs> Their faces are basically a match. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so that's basically what a ditto is. Anyway, now moving on to the next one. Anyway, so now we have <clears throat> Meowstic, a psychic type. Also the evolved version of, I think, Esper, something like that. <clears throat> anyway, this is also the male version. There are two different gender versions. Like, it basically, the male one is like this, but the female one, like, the white bits are blue and the blue bits are white. Yeah. Also, um, the male ones have uh, wide open eyes, whilst the female ones often have, uh, like, a face. Also, um, they're both very strong psychic type Pokemon. Uh, you see, like, also when in the show, oh, as she came across, there's like four different Meowth sticks. Like, uh, again, and two of them were female, another two were male. And like, yeah, now the first ones you ran into were like from two brothers, the other ones you ran into were from a psychic type gym leader. Yeah. Also, I think like the the neck scarf or whatever the things that are on uh, the male and female Mio sticks are like different. Like the male ones have like this like a swoosh one, whilst the female ones kind of like have a bit more of a curl. But yeah. And so now we're moving on to the next. Oh wait! Also, one thing is that um, I know we could have got the female one. It's just that um, we couldn't find any at all. Okay. Right, now we're moving on to the next one. Now we have a very tiny, itty bitty cipher. <laughs> now these are bugs and flying types. Now, this is, as you can tell, is a very small one, like I said. <clears throat> and, like, they have blades for hands, but their evolved version, which is Sizzle, <clears throat> have claws. Also, Sizzles are steel types instead of flying types, but the bug thing stays the same. Like, also, Sizzles can mega evolve, which I'll show you guys later. Anyway. So that's basically all I have to say for right now. Anyway, now 
we have Loudred. Or should I say Loudred? <laughs> like Loudred is basically like a very, as you can tell, loud Pokemon. <laughs> also, um, its evolved version is Exploud. I think it's just a normal type. Yeah, it's just a normal type. But as I remember, they're very loud. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, I find, like, their ears are like speakers. I don't even know if these are ears or if they're, like, just access. Also, they have a sound wave on in their back. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, and they have a very big mouth. As you can see, open wide. Anyway, now we're moving on to the next one. Now we have Odino. Now, as you can see, Odino is like a very nice looking Pokemon. Also, you see, um, believe it or not, Odino is on the Fairy types, I know, right? They look like fairy types. No, they're just normal, <laughs> which is uh, quite surprising, actually. When they mega evolved, boy, are they powerful and fairy types. Yep, they're fairy types when they uh, when they mega evolve. Also, I like them <laughs> because, like, as you can see, like they have like a pink coat, which is actually their skin, <laughs> and like <coughs> I just like. L love the little curls they have and like how they have like little wing like ears <laughs> so anyway spread your wings and fly <laughs> but they can't actually fly yeah anyway <laughs> it's what game dog would do to you <laughs> okay so basically Gengar is a ghost and poison type Pokemon, the final stage of Gasling, and the evolved version of Haunter. P.S. Haunter is my f favorite one out of all of them, but like, they all like have tons. Things like this. And actually, Lick is actually a ghost type move, believe it or not. And like, like as you can see, Gengars are like very spooky and fun Pokemon. Also, they have several horns on the back. Also, they can go up on the walls. <laughs> yeah. okay. anyway, but also, they're kind of chubby. <laughs> and they're basically all face, but that's okay. Anyway. Anyway, so next we have Luna and Lushana. And Lushana is the evolved one, by the way. And I do sleep. <laughs> but of course, in real life, it is actually night. <laughs> anyway, but you see, like, they have, like, this, like, cord thing. Anyway, and I don't know why, but I always find it, I feel like it's, like, an umbilical cord. <laughs> I honestly, it like, I mean, if you think about it, like, yeah. But also, they're very snuggly and kinky. <laughs> also, they're both psychic types. This one has little flowers on, Luna, and this, and Lushana has, like, a pajamas on. <laughs> yeah. It's weird how they <coughs> sleep like, 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 Kamala. It's... Yeah, again. Anyway. Anyway, so that's basically the end for part two. And, like, it turns out there were way more Pokemon than the, that we can even film into two videos. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to Egg Trainer, Egg Games and Friends, PC and GTV, and Game of Go 1214. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.